to show you what cute what cute project we have today. Yes, and you you will be amazed, amazed, amazed because um, Jackie made this up, and I have been so excited. Yeah, well, I didn't make it up, but I well, changed. Jackie made I changed this. the pattern. Okay, you up. ready? Okay, here we go. Mike has me all hooked up to everything, so I hope that we're doing okay and we can get over here. Okay. Since this week we are have been talking about aprons, oh, not aprons, that was last week. <laughs> oh, you were supposed to, weren't you going to wear your apron? You were going to do something. Oh, yes. Yeah, so well, I she, she, yeah. She has her clothes. Instead, I wanted anyway. to match, Jackie. We're black card. Yeah, we are. Clothes. We are matching today. So this week we are doing placemats. And so who has the best placemat this, this is week? The placemat we're going to to do today. Oh my so, gosh! Isn't that? Oh. Oh, I need to smell it. Um, Tana, that's been in my purse for two years. <laughs> it doesn't smell very good. <laughs> okay. That's just a reminder. I need to go buy. See if I can find a, a nutmeg. Uh, is that the, just a okay? I'm on. I'm going to be on the lookout. So, isn't this the cutest? Oh my word! Would you not love this on your birthday if that's yes. what was sitting there? I've always wanted to do a special placemat or a special plate for my kids. Mm -hmm. Well, my kids are all gone, and so now I'm going to do the actual placemat. So when my grandkids come, then they, they will have anyway. they will <laughs> have a special plate placemat. Yes. So. This um, pattern actually is from the, I'm going to slide this under here. This is the pattern. It actually came out of We Wish You a Merry Christmas from Kimberbell. We kind of have a little bit of a light that's coming, shining in on us yes. from the window. I don't know how to fix um, it because the blinds are down. Yeah. So maybe. So anyway, so this is one of the projects that are out of. Oh, it's called. I'm going to bring you guys around. Okay. Hold on. We're going to switch places. Is that a little bit better? Can you see? Can you see? Yeah. See, most of you might have this. It's called Tied with a Bow. <laughs> Peekaboo, Sherry. Yes. Hi, Sherry. Okay. So there is a sewing version. And then there's also an embroidery version. So yes, these um, there are the two different books. So I actually did mine. Uh, this is the machine embroidery version, the one that I did. But today I'm going to show you how to walk you through the sewing version. So, uh oh, Chris comes in. She's gonna. <laughs> We're. <laughs> Chris who? I don't. I didn't see Chris. Did no, you? I, no, I didn't no, see her at all. Me neither. Be very sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea. Time. Do you? Uh, yeah, no, Chris. No, no Chris. Here. Here. Right. Look, there she is. Do you have a rotary cutter? I do oh, have a rotary cutter. You too. I'm sorry, here. I'll sneak in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have two. Thank you. Yeah, no. Rotary okay. cutter. All right. Thank you all right. so much. Bye -bye. Oh, she's not going to reprimand us for doing something. Okay, Charlene was at the warehouse yesterday, um, and she gave me an angel, an FSL <gasps> angel. Oh, I have one too. She gave yes. me one too. Beautiful. Who was yes. it that did that? Charlene Renshaw. Oh, Charlene, I didn't get your name, so thank you. That oh, that was so sweet. Okay, so how much okay. is the book? If you want the sewing book, it's a little cheaper than the embroidery version well, book. That's and your. I'm, that's I your. Don't know. Yes, your place. I didn't. I can't remember how much it is, but anyway, we're gonna. I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to do the sewing version. But <laughs> she's looking for Allison's nutmeg, yes. <laughs> totally true. Uh, okay, so let's, now we need to hone back. Okay, here okay. we go, we're ready. Okay. okay, take a big deep breath and here now we go. Now it's thing number two. All right, so I'm gonna open. I feel like I'm maybe, I'm gonna come around here. See where the best spot, maybe if you do it this way. So you can see us this way, maybe. So we're not, okay, awesome. All right, so this is the background that I chose right here. So it, your cutting instructions is your background piece, you're gonna cut a 17 and a half by 14 and a half. 
then you're going to out of that same fabric we're going to cut one strip that is one and a half by twelve and a half then the patchwork blocks which are these cute um, two and a half inch strips you'll need six of those and I just kind of mixed and matched kind of what the background is which I think are I love it so bright and then for one of the pockets you'll cut a five and five by eleven piece you'll cut two pieces of your bow for your your um, your bow oh. and the present the five and a half by eight and for the ribbon two and a half but this is all in the book so I don't need to explain that to you I'm going to explain how do we how we do it so to begin with you're going to make this outer project this outer pocket okay this is a separate piece so you will make this with the bow first and Tana it is a pocket yes so you can put you can put your silverware I should have brought some silverware so you can put your little silverware in here and then this part right up here is um, for a napkin that so I just put a piece of fabric in here but if you have a cute napkin you can use that as a napkin holder so isn't that just cute I love the orange, so you wouldn't want to use that as a napkin, though. All right, so to make that that pocket bow, I took a piece of my five my five by eleven piece of fabric, and I folded it with wrong sides together, and I pressed that so that it's nice and creased. So now to get the the bow part, it gives in the pattern it gives you templates and there's a right and then there's one in reverse so then when you put it on the back um, it will be finished so you will take that this bow and there's a dotted line right along that bow you're going to lay that on the fold okay just like this then you will take you will take a, uh, a water soluble pen you do not want to use a heat sensitive one okay because this that wouldn't work very well so i took a, a water soluble pen and i traced the bottom part of my bow and i went ahead and took it to my machine and i stitched all the way around so this will be my outline for the bottom of the bow okay the reason why you also sew it is guess what then you'll also have it on the back side of your pocket so Jackie, you'll know where to place genius. it yes no i it, this was in the pattern but oh. <laughs> but yeah timber belts it's genius. okay yeah they are we love it okay so once you've done this now we're ready to put the bow on so i it also has flexi foam so you need one four by four piece flexi foam and you need two of the bow um four by four of your bow color i chose to do yellow so i'm going to trace i'm going to trace my front bow on one and then i'm going to trace the back side in reverse on the other one with my water soluble pen all right you'll notice that we have to somehow get this flexi foam attached and fused to the to the, the fabric so i used heat and bond and i put heat and bond in between so now they're fused together perfect okay. yeah so now it gives the puffy part of the now and that i didn't cut it all the way because i wanted to show you that when i cut it it's a little bit hard so when i get to the point i'm going to just cut that off i'm going to pinch pinch it just a little bit so then it's easier to cut through. And I'll hurry and cut the rest of it out. I'm gonna read some comments while you're okay, cutting yeah. that out. Okay. Man, it's getting hot it's in From here. We Whisk You a Merry Christmas. And if you purchase the embroidery, We Whisk You a Merry Christmas, do you get the CD also to download? Yes. Yes, yes. yes we do. With. In fact, here I'll show you. This is how the CD, this is how it goes with the machine embroidery. So there's your C, your CD ins, inside. And it gives you a bunch of cute um, extra projects that you can do with it too. Okay.
So uh, let me finish cutting out my, okay, there's my, there's my bow that has, it has heat and bond on the back. It, there's the foam. Then it has heat and bond fused on the back of your, these two together. So now when I peel this off, oh. there will be heat and bond on the back side of this. And I can, now I have placement lines. I can take it and go to my iron and I can press this and it, it will adhere. Now we have a lot of bulk right here. So we, I will press it from the back side. That's going to be my question. And being very careful that you don't, because you'll get, this has adhesive on it. You don't want to, to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and press that, press that on. Okay. And I can line up, line up those stitching lines. And I just hold it on there until it has, a, it has adhered. This is called the applique method. And if you do this on your sewing machine or on the embroidery machine, it's, it's just a little bit different. You have placement lines as well. Okay, so now I'm done with this part. Now I'm going to hurry and cut out the back side of the bow. The nice thing about this is that you can choose whatever color you want. I was thinking not only birthday, but how fun it would be to do other, other holidays. You could bypass putting the bow if you didn't really want the bow on it. You could just um, go past this, this point and not put the bow. So there's all kinds of fun things. And maybe you wouldn't make them out of presents. I don't know, you could probably come up with something else besides presents, but I think an Easter egg with a bow on it that would, would be, be cute. cute. Oh, you could, yeah, that would be. You could just do all kinds of different things, but it's the same. It's the same idea. So I have. Okay, notice I brought my own pen, um, scissors, so we have nice scissors to. Okay, so now I have the paper. This is the paper side of the heat and bond, and I will just peel. Peel that off. I kind of get it rolling. There we go. Okay, so I peel that off and then there's adhesive on this, this side. And I'm going to take it over to the iron and I'm going to press that. Press that on, pressing, pressing it to the other side of the bowl like this. Can you see that? Okay, I'm going to come over here. This is so cute. And I was really quite surprised at how easy it was to do. So now I'm going to just press the whole, so I'm gonna adhere all of it together. Okay, and there we have the bow. Isn't that just cute? That's so cute. So then from here, I won't take time but from here, we're going to take our sewing machine and we're going to either do a, a, a small zigzag or you can do a blanket stitch and you're going to go around the whole, the details of the, the ribbon yeah. and making sure I'm doing a straight stitch in the little areas here so that it will give you dimension. I'll oh, show you cute. what, I'll show you what it looks like, the bow. This is the bow, this is the bow in the embroidery version. So then, you know, it, isn't that so cute? cute? It gives you the detail on it and it's kind of poofy. So it makes it kind of fun. So that's how you do that bow um, on the present. And we're going to, once we have done all of the, the details on here, we'll set it aside. Okay, the next thing is the other present that we're going to do. And this one, we're gonna actually adhere directly to the background. So we need to come two inches down from the top, four inches to the left on the right, on, on the side of the, 
and I'm going to show you a little trick that I do. I love these rulers. This is how I, instead of taking two inches from the top and then putting in a little mark or a pin and then coming down here four inches and moving in and doing that, I'm just going to use my, um, my actual creative grids. Yeah, like, creative yeah. grids. And I'm going to go down. Oh, it's this way. Okay, I'm going to go four inches. So I'm going to line up the line. I'm going to try to give see them. This? Yeah, I'm going to okay. try to give Can them a better see view. This? Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going four inches in, and there's the four inch line, and then two inches down. Do you see that? So then when I, I can take my water, my pen, and I like to just put a little mark because that will tell me how, where to line up my pocket. So I have a little line right here. So the next, the next thing there, this is the piece of the other, of the other present. I'm going to put heat and bond on the back side of this. So in the pattern, it gives you, it gives you little things to cut out. I just measured it instead of cutting, cutting it, out. it out. And so if you want to do that, it's a four and a half by six and three fourths. And this one is one and a half by six and three fourths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere to the back side of that and that the heat and bond. So we're going to do another. Let me just turn and press that. Okay. okay. I'll answer questions. Okay, good. There's some good ideas, like on the bow, put the piece you pulled off over the part you don't want to iron, and then you don't get that. Charlene likes your striped fabric. I want to show you. Look at this, darling. Darling. Angel. That Charlene made for us and brought. I mean, how cute is that? Close to your heart. Very, very fun. Okay. Okay. So now we can just cut this. We're going to cut it out on the lines. I make them a little bit bigger. I always do too. This is because I feel like it's easier to cut. Yeah. And you're going to cut directly on the line. And then you're going to do the same with this one. You could definitely just put one present. You could just do the one present on it if you wanted to. I think what's so fun with patterns is that you you take a pattern and then you just see what how many different ways you can use that same pattern. In because this is a Christmas, and some people might think, well, we only use it for Christmas, but. Try and think of other ways that you can use it. Okay, so here's our, our next present. And we've adhered the heat and bond on the back side. And I use the heat and bond light. That seems to be not, it, it doesn't have to be very heavy. So I will take that and where the line is that I marked, you can either do that or you can put, this is the other thing you could also do. If you didn't want to mark it, you could actually just, if you want to make sure it's straight, you can also just use your um, your ruler and butt it up against your ruler. So that will give you a nice straight line. Okay. Then once I'm done with that, I'm going to take, I'm going to actually going to do both of them at the same time. Okay. Because you can do one of these each but I, I feel confident enough it's not going to move. There were a bunch of things. I definitely would do this. Okay. okay. So then I'm going to lay that in the middle. Then I will take it to my iron. And I probably would would do this on my on ironing, iron. on yep. my ironing board. So. Oh, Betty Jo, you're right. Those would be so cute. And Janine, we got better scissors in here. I think I think she brought her own. 
Those are my own. Yep, I know. Is there any discount for the club by chance? There's not, Linda, because it's a Kimberbell pattern. So those are not included. But you could go back and rewind and watch. Oh. <laughs> there you go. So now I have my, my first present on that. Isn't that That's so, so cute. cute? So oh, cute. Yes. So now the only thing that we need to do is we need to do the, the napkin. The napkin part. And we're going to do this on, at, the, um, at the ironing station. Okay. So we'll hi ho, hi ho, to the iron station we go. All right. So to do the, the top, the little napkin holder, you're going to take your piece of fabric and you're going to fold with wrong sides together and make a crease. I know you've all done this before. Okay. Then from there, we're going to go to the middle where we pressed on each side. And we'll press, we'll press this. And then we're gonna fold it again. So we are making our little strip, just like bias tape. Okay, so then it looks like this. But before we, um, put that on, we're going to take and go to the machine and we're going to tack, we're going to do a, a straight stitch going down each side. So we will. Okay, how are we doing? Hopefully we're doing well. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just go and just go straight down. Now, what you could do, which would be really fun, is to play around with some of your, your embroidery um, utility stitches on your machine. And you could do a decorative instead of a straight stitch. You could do a different color thread, which would be really, really cute with this as well. But I'm just going to do a straight stitch and just kind of be just regular. But you could definitely do some fun things with this. You could even you could even put decorative stitches going down the middle. You could, if you were brave and you wanted to embroider, you could embroider somebody's name down here if it's for a specific person. But now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this under on each side and we're just going to press that because we're then we will we will stitch it onto our our project. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So you see I've I've pressed about a quarter of an inch on the back side of that of that tab. The napkin ring holder, is that what they, we call it? Yes. Okay. So then, now we are ready to put, you can attach, go to the sewing machine and you'll attach it at the top here. And then depending on what size, then you will, you will sew a straight seam going down here. Okay, and that's all there is to doing oh that. Gosh. Does anyone have any questions about that part of it? Okay. All right, and then all that is left is to take and place your, what you'll want to do is do your blanket stitch or a zigzag stitch to finish. What's really cute, and I don't know if you can see it, on the embroidery version, there's this cute um, red, kind of looks like a little lacy. Mm. It's a little lacy thing that's part of the embroidery part. So you could also, that's, you could do that with your sewing machine as well. You could put some cute things on there. So you'll blanket stitch around that whole thing. And then you will attach 
once you have done your other pocket, you'll attach your pocket and sew down the three sides till the end, then leave that open. So that's all there is to do on the oh, presents. So Isn't cute. that cute? Yes, yeah, so cute. So then on the other side, we'll put this to the side. And then after you're done with that, you're going to trim this. So it will be, um, what's the final trimming? I think it's like a 14. We're going to trim it down so that it's 12 and a half by, I can't remember, 14 and a half. So we're going to trim, trim this down and then we will do our, we'll sew our, our two and a half inch strips together like this. Then, and you can do this in any order you want. You can even use different colors if you want too. I mean, you, it's just, there's so many different varieties. So you'll sew those together, right sides together, and then you will attach our last little piece. It's right here there. somewhere. Here it is. We'll attach our, our last little piece right here. We will press it and and then we are done with the front now i was going to try and and quilt mine but i can't decide how i want to quilt it so i'm going to use the flexi foam from kimberbell and i'm going to put flexi foam and then i'm going to put a back on it, the back of it i'm going to use my uh, machine my solaris to do some um, or my clear blue tiles, and I'm going to do some fun, How fun, some fun quilting on it. And then you bind it with whatever color, whatever color you like. So that is, that is a quick, was it quick? Yeah, it was, it quick. was pretty quick. Yep. Quick little thing on how to do this cute table topper or this um, placemat. Place yep. So there we go. Okay, do we have any questions? Let's go back to the table. So if you add Rick Rack, Rick Rack would be oh, really Rick cute. Be darling. Oh, you can just do all kinds We're gonna of things. We're going to take you back to the table. Okay. Yes. I might faint. I'm hot. <laughs> oh, I don't want you to faint. It's cooler over here. It's warm. I think last week I was really. Here we go. Ooh. We got this. Uh, we got this. I really did. I really did faint, and they had to pick me up off the floor. See, I so, want Chris to check my resume because nowhere on it does it say I'm a videographer. She, nowhere. She's she's got to stop the touch screen. Yeah, it's the touch screen. Now. Yes, Karen, we broke it again. Oh goodness! And Chris to our rescue, right? Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think the last thing I said is I'm going to faint because it's so hot. I really did. Yeah. It went black. <laughs> <laughs> and now here we are. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, Sorry. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> what did you think about the cute placemat? Was it, um, I think you could so do cute. it. You could all do it. Yes. Um, yes, so. Joanne. I did push the wrong button. Yes. Okay. Too so, funny. Too few too. brains. Too many buttons. <laughs> <laughs> She was going to call Chris. Yeah. Yeah. You need to go and help those two. Yes. Yeah. So do you have any questions about the, <laughs> about the placemat? So let's, let's kind of go back to, yeah, where we started here. Any, um, yes, you're right. Good thing for the boss. Yeah. That's, that's exactly right. Yeah. Kathy, Good. it is darling. 
Yeah. So, okay. No questions. All right. Well, we, did I, well, let me just ask, did I explain it well enough so that you're not, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Joanne. But I don't think anybody is as human as me. <laughs> See, it's always good that I'm glad I'm with her because she, she does all that. And then I can just laugh. Gail, the embroidery version is on our website. I'm not sure yeah. right off the top of my head. I'm, yeah. I want to say, but I said, I love, you can just take components of all of those and you can do so many things. Yes. So like there's a, there's an apron that you don't have to use it as Christmas. I mean, you can use it all year round, which is so nice. Um, so that's what um, I love about this book is that you can take every, all kinds of different things. So you can put it on a bag, you can put it on a t-shirt, you could... Heavens, you could okay, so if you don't have an embroidery paper. machine, you can't put um, it on toilet paper. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> so Elisa put the the um, We Wish You a Merry Christmas book up there. If you don't have an embroidery machine, that's why we showed you how to yes. sew it. Yes, and there's a sewing could, version. Yes. So, yes, there are two different books. You could not quilt it and just put a backing oh, on it. Totally. You don't have to quilt it. If you no. did want to quilt it, you could do um, as easy as drawing some grid lines, some crisscross lines oh, or a swirl. Definitely. I mean, you know. Most you, definitely. You could even do it um, free motion quilting on your own home sewing machine. Right. You don't have to have a, an embroidery machine. No, not at all. So you can you can play and have fun if you've ever wanted to to do quilting on your home machine. This would be a great a great time to practice. Right. But you could honestly you could just leave it. Yes. And it would be it would be it would be wonderful. Right. Whatever you do is wonderful. Right. So. And yes. one thing I did learn, and I know Kyle, I watched a class yesterday that Kyle had taught and she touched on it, is that we all hold ourselves to this really high standard, I think, mm -hmm. that when we see something, we think that we shouldn't quilt or show people because um, we are not to the same standard. But it's for you. It's for your family and oh. whatever they think is going to be great. They will love it. Yes. No my parents what. have a, my, one of my very first quilts down on their wall and I walk back and cringe just a little bit, but I just thought, well, it got me started. Yeah. You oh, know, Kathy wants to see the placemat again. Oh, okay. I'll grin. I was thinking of another thing that you could do. Um, you could actually do applique letters. And oh, how put, cute. Oh, I guess. Hold on. Here it is again. Oh, but you have to see. Oh, well, we ball. forgot the, the napkin. Yeah. So you could actually put someone's um, um, name on it. Yes. I think it would be so cute. Yeah. So I haven't decided how I'm going to finish mine. So. I mean, how fun would this be to take to somebody that you know and just take a piece of cake or something? Oh, that would be so cute. Yeah, this place. There we go. There's the napkin. So, okay. All right. Did I get it right? Yeah, I did. You did get it okay. right. All right. Yes, Nancy. Grandkids are good for your confidence. Mm. They do love everything. Yes. 